this tutorial, we will create a cut file for a keychain or pendant using Inkscape. Let's begin by opening up a blank Inkscape document. We will be using the Select tool, which will be used to select and move objects, and we will also be using the Circle tool, which will help us create circle shapes. Select the Circle tool, and let's move over to the canvas, which is this rectangle right here. Select anywhere in the canvas, and click and drag out the shape. You will notice it makes other shapes, like an oval. But if we want to make a perfect circle, what we can do is hold down the control key and drag out, and it will constrain the proportions to a perfect circle. Now that we have a perfect circle, we can release the control key and stop dragging. You will notice that the circle is filled in. What we want to do is create a stroke around the circle instead, so that the Glowforge can recognize it as a cut line. On the right, you will notice a panel with the fill and stroke properties. Navigate to the fill tab and click the X. You will notice that it removes the fill. Next, go to the stroke paint tab and click on the icon next to the X. This will fill in the stroke line. At the bottom, you can choose a different color for the stroke, but we will keep with black for now. Now go to the Stroke Style tab. Here you can specify how thin or thick you would like the stroke. For now, we will keep it at 0.5 millimeters, and the Glowforge will recognize it as a cut line. Now click on the Select tool. You will see that the size properties are now available at the top and we can change the size of the object manually. There's the width and the height, and in between is a lock that when clicked will lock the size proportions. So if the width is changed, the height will be changed by the same proportion. Next to this are the size units. You can click on it and change the unit. For now, I'm going to change mine to inches. Let's go ahead and input a number for the width. Two or three inches is a good size for a keychain or pendant. I'm going to put in three and press enter, and you'll notice that the height automatically changes as well. Now we're going to create a smaller circle, so go ahead and click on the circle shape tool again. And this smaller circle will act as a hole so that you can attach a key ring, chain, or cord. Now we know we can manually change the size of the circle, so we're just going to eyeball it for now. And you'll notice that the fill and stroke settings from our larger circle has carried over. So let's go to the Select tool, and let's look at the size properties. This size is fine, but I'm actually going to change it to 0 0.24. Eight. And this seems to be a pretty good size for this circle. You can move around the small circle by clicking and dragging it. So I'm going to move it around right now until I get it into a good spot. Next, we are going to align the circles so that they are centered on the vertical axis. We're going to do this by selecting both objects. Click anywhere on the canvas and drag out the box so that it encompasses both circles. Then go to the top, click on Object, and navigate down to Align and Distribute. The panel for the Align and Distribute settings have popped up on the right. At the top are the Align settings. You'll notice different icons for alignment options. On the top row, there is a setting for Center on Vertical Axis. Once you click on it, you will notice that the small circle has shifted. This means that the two circles are now center aligned. Our design is all finished. We can now save it by going to File, Save As, and a save window will appear. Make sure you save it as an SVG file.
Now you can upload your design in the Glowforge app. Click on Create, go to New Blank Design, find the plus icon, click on Upload, click on your design, and it will now upload into the Glowforge interface. Now your design is ready to be cut.